Don't you hate when you have Hulk hair? How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thank you for joining me on this Marvel reaction series tonight. We are starting and being introduced to, well for me at least, a brand new Marvel superhero. I have heard of She-Hulk. Basically she's been in some cartoons that I've seen in the past. Uh, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I do know that she is Jennifer Walters, and of course I do know that she is played by none other than Tatiana Maslany from Orphan Black fame. And uh, I am just really excited to see her in this. Real quick, I bet 38 of you are wondering, Dusty, where the hell has Miss Marvel been? Well, uh... <laughs> That's not going to be on my channel. I had four episodes recorded before the whole AC debacle happened. And uh, I was actually going to release them as like two episodes with like three episodes in each kind of thing. Uh, and I went to go check the edit and one of the episodes was just gone. Uh, so basically I have three episodes that are there. One of the other ones is kind of messed up in the middle too. There's some artifacting and some weird sound glitches. So I don't know what caused them. I hope I don't have those issues right now because it has been quite a while since I've been able to record something. I'm a little rusty, so I'm just going to try to get into this. But basically, I just literally finished watching Miss Marvel before uh, I was going to call her Dr. Hulk. Why? I was thinking of Doctor Strange and then Hulk. I don't I don't know why. But basically, uh, I, I did just get done watching the last two episodes of Miss Marvel before She-Hulk. And I'll kind of give you guys like a rundown of what I thought of it. Overall, I thought it was okay. Uh, I loved Kamala Khan. I thought she was a great character. She had a lot of personality. And she was really charismatic and bubbly and adorable. And she could also kick a lot of ass when the time was right. But as far as like the story went, I didn't really understand or follow it. It felt like they kind of wanted to do something, but I don't know if it was done well enough to like warrant what they're trying, if that makes any sense. And I also did not like the whole like wedge in her being a mutant at the very end. I thought that was like, oh shit, we want to bring in the mutants, so might as well just do this now. I felt they should have done that with like Maria Rambo, which I guess she is going to be part of the Marvel, so maybe she will be the first mutant still. But uh, when Maria Rambo like went into Wanda's you know, what was it called? The Hex or whatever. I thought like that was going to change her DNA or something like that. And she would be the first mutant. But I thought that was just kind of tacked on. I don't know. I thought the characters were all good. I like Bruno, um, uh, Cameron, blanking on the other one's names. But overall, I mean, the show was, was okay. I really liked the stylistic choices they took. Uh, you know, whenever she's like walking and you see like her imagination being animated like on the harbor or something, I thought that was really well done. And I don't know, I just I just didn't really get like the whole time travel thing with the with the bracelet bangle thing. Um, I don't know. It was overall it was okay. It was probably not my favorite Marvel show to date. Um, that's still you know Loki's still holding firm, but who knows? Maybe She Hulk's gonna come in here and you know knock him out. <laughs> Kind of like Hulk did to his brother Thor. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't know anything about She-Hulk. I do know that this is kind of like going to be more of a law show, kind of. Like about what happens after the, the big hero stuff and the laws that have to be set and people convicted, I guess. I did wonder in uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, how is the world functioning now? And I'm kind of hoping this kind of gives us a little peek into it like the average day-to-day -day lives of superheroes because I do know there's a lot of cameos in this and also there are uh, after credit scenes on every episode and we're getting nine episodes for this season so I am really excited about that. I also know that people were dogging on the uh, the CG which if you're if you're caught up on the CG it's almost like people in video games like oh that game's graphics sucks it's like yeah but the gameplay and the story is amazing you got to focus on that the CG just kind of brings a story to life that otherwise would just be on the page and that's that's what these are they're just they're big cartoons they're big colorful live action cartoons and i love them so stop making fun of my marvel <laughs> So anyway, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I'll bring new videos to you usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Patreon and everything else is down below. And with the Patreon, you're going to get these episodes full length a week or weeks before the YouTube audience. If not, they're going to be on the YouTubes eventually. Uh, so yeah, I guess without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this brand new Marvel show. This one is She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Let's do it. There's our girl. What is the responsibility of those with power? Do they have a duty to protect those without it? Some would say they have a great responsibility. <laughs> they believed they would not be held accountable. Wait, is she like going after Today, superheroes? It's not the angle I was expecting from her. You just have to top it off with a Savage Jen Walters look. What? 
I don't have a Savage Jen Walters one. There it is. Perfect. I don't know who Jen Walters is. Really? I do know that she is Jennifer Walters. It's so great, Jen. Oh, okay, the she's Jen. Is happening. <laughs> this is good. And if it doesn't go our way, we can just hulk out. The only hulking out I'm going to do is in the legal sense. So she's already got her powers then? I was expecting kind of like an origin. I'm sure we're going to get like flashbacks, obviously. but Yeah, about that. Um, it's true. I am a Hulk. Uh, <laughs> and I'm guessing you're not going to be able to focus on this fun lawyer show until you know all about that. Let me get you up to speed. Oh, I love that. I went on a road trip with my cousin Bruce. Yes. That Bruce. Made this little device, which keeps me in human form. My theory. Steve Rogers did not have a girlfriend before he went into the service. Says who? The History Channel. So he becomes Captain America. I want to watch that History Channel. I think it's called Disney Plus now. <laughs> After he gets unfrozen, he goes from world-threatening disaster to world-threatening disaster. Obviously, Captain America wasn't working oh, out. What the hell? Is that a Kree ship? You would have think Bruce could have acted a little faster and hulked out. But I guess he was wearing that bracelet thing. Why are you trying to save him? Like, he's the Hulk. Oh, that's how it happened. Get away! <laughs> See, I always thought like she got into the car crash and she, like he had to do like an emergency transfusion and that's how she got the powers, but it was just like literally just an accident, kind of like 28 days later when the blood drops into his eye. Girl, what happened to you? No judgments, but whoever did this to you does not care about you. Not me, him. Or her. All right, these some good ladies. I don't need you to put makeup on me. Yes, you do. <laughs> Up. You guys are not going to have a good night after this interaction. <laughs> Just being friendly. <laughs> oh, there's Bruce. <laughs> so he still has control over Hulk. They're still like kind of working together. They're not at odds anymore. Hello, pick up their hey, it is Professor Morning. Hulk. You're Hulk again. Smart Hulk. I didn't come up with it. You never have a choice at these names. This is where I spent a blip fixing myself and integrating the Hulk banner identities. Tony built it for me a few years ago. Tony Stark. <laughs> nice name drop, Hulk. Did we hit a spaceship? It's a car in Class A courier craft. I gotta get to the bottom of that. Is that gonna be the next movie that Hulk's in? What happened to me? My blood got into your system, and you got a lethal dose of gamma radiation. And then I'm gonna die? No, there was more to it that, that, I'm, that I'm going to explain. That is not the <laughs> sentence to take a pause on, Bruce. His facial animation right there, by the way, was pretty blank. So I turn into a Hulk now, too. In your blood. The way it synthesized gamma, I, I was able to use it to completely heal my arm. Because I'm better than you? And we know it. <laughs> it's basically different. They're definitely cousins. Now I'm able to be my fully integrated self again. Smug Hulk. Smart Hulk. <laughs> Smug Hulk. Like call yourself I like that they do seem like relatives, like they've grown up together, and we're seeing the family side of Bruce Banner. It's kind of weird that we're seeing the like the the people that helped Bruce Banner become who he is. You don't think you'd ever see those kind of stories. It's always just like the big action scenes, you know? Now fix me. This is not going away. I don't want to be a Hulk. Just got my own office. Gen I have Gen business cards. I know this is hard to hear, but you're going to have to uh, change the way you live your life. Avoid stressful situations. Stay away from people. She's a lawyer. You can't go back to your job. This is a multi-year journey. I never thought that it would end up being a syllabus. Now he truly is Professor Hulk. <laughs> 15 years? Our top priority is to control when you turn. Some of his facial animation isn't jiving well with me. Transformations are triggered by distressed emotional states. Literal death machine. Bruce! <laughs> Don't worry, those are the ones that you put a hot dog in and it stops, you know? That'd be fine. You're just gonna kill me? Do you normally use a streamer for you, psychopath? <laughs> Yeah, he's, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. <laughs> Why are you talking to me like I'm a stray horse? You're still Jen? Right now? Yeah, and so, I'm conscious. So she has the powers without the personality. I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? Did Bruce just invent another version of the super soldier? It's just me. You still can't control when you transform. How did you do it? Get knocked out by a robot and I'd wake up as Banner. Or <laughs> Natasha for a little while would, would tell me a lullaby. Walk me through how that worked again. 
tickle your palm a little bit. <laughs> Do you know the damage you can cause? Forget Hulk rage. Regular anger means death and destruction for everything and everyone around you. Teach me how to Hulk. Dougie? I never thought you'd well, she... be into all this mind, body, spirit stuff. How'd she go back then? Is this, I guess maybe it's the next day she just went to sleep as She-Hulk. Holding your farts. Namaste. <laughs> That's gonna be the end right there. Hold in your farts. Why don't you get some rest and we'll change tactics in the morning? <laughs> you do remember the fact that Gen 4 when you sleep. Was the air horn really necessary? For comedy, absolutely. <laughs> it worked. Reinforce all your furniture! See, she looks good, I think. I think she, at times she looks better than the Hulk, actually. Who's your best friend? Nikki. And spandex. Because they put her face on like an actual woman that's that big. Hulk is just unnaturally big. Just grab a little boulder and take it easy on this person. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to show you how no, it's I'm, done. I'm showing. <laughs> I love a good training montage. Man! <laughs> Man! <laughs> oh god, I love Jennifer already. She's a lot more agile than he is. <laughs> that might be the thumbnail right there. Sure. When am I ever going to use this as a lawyer? Powers like this, it's like putting a target on your back in the backs of all the people you care about. But there are a few upsides. We can drink so much and not get drunk. But what's the point of that? You're just drinking nasty flavored liquid. Uh, they drink a lot. <laughs> you built this bar by hand? Me and Tony. Well, Tony mostly drank. You can still get drunk. You just have to drink a lot, apparently. It's a good time to that. She didn't break the glass. She's got a lot of control over her power. So when do you think I can leave? Let's just focus. Being a superhero is a trial by fire. I'm not going to be a superhero. What else are you going to do as a Hulk? Uh, <laughs> Use my law degree that I am still paying off a fortune in student loans for. It's to tolerate the stress and regulate your emotions. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, as if I don't, I will get called emotional or might just literally get murdered. I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you, projecting a lot of shit onto me. Let's see. No, I'm doing this. Okay, this is completely Ooh. new territory. Okay. You guys have outgrown your binder, cuz. I mean, obviously she didn't get like the full dose of gamma rays that he did, but. You're now a superhero. And who's gonna protect the world if it isn't people like us? I'm not you, and I'm not gonna become you. I don't need to join some secret government contractor squad and have my entire life taken away from me. No relationships, never seeing your family. Why would you want that for me, Bruce? Again, you're going through it so much differently, though. Don't you do. Ah! <laughs> why, why did he get run over? Yes! Oh! Why, why did that happen? He should have just, like, dug in. He could have easily stopped that thing. Dick move. <laughs> well, you did toss her off a cliff, man. I learned it from you. <laughs> this is like them, like, fighting during when they were kids. So now they have a lot more power. For the record, I really didn't want to do this. Does she have a signature Hulk move? Yeah, I wanted to do it a little. <laughs> For different people. Lunkhead. Dummy. <laughs> she does not have that. Okay, just really loud. Like what's the name, Black Bull? <laughs> Why is he even wearing his glasses at this point? Does he really need them as the Hulk? Or is it like the doctor is just for looks? <laughs> oh, that's the bar. The bar! Mm, you're fixing it. <laughs> Pouty Hulk, I love it. If you want to go back to life as a lawyer, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. Why does she just talk to us like Fleabag and Deadpool? Why does she have the power to be fourth wall breaking? Thanks for everything. Uh, so is that going to be all of Bruce in this show maybe until the end? You change your mind. 
Door never closes. See you at the next family dinner. I mean, obviously this is her show. He's not going to be in it the entire time, but I like that little flashback. That was that was good. Now my family knows, and you know. But who are we? Like, who is she looking at? I don't. Now I'm going to go win this case. My client was well within his right to protect his business interests. Your closing argument. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, what? Is that the defendant? In front of everybody? Yeah. <laughs> this is like very comic booky. I don't know why she's attacking. Maybe that's like the defendant. <laughs> hey, those were probably expensive. Who the hell are you? Jennifer Walters, attorney at law. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> like, this is the worst CG in the whole show. Is that kick? That's all right. This is just campy and enjoyable. Don't you hate when you have Hulk hair? <laughs> I'm ready to give my closing argument now. <laughs> yes! Tatiana is in the MCU with a bang. That was so good. Hell yeah. She Hulk is the shit. Went for his country and he never got to experience sex. <laughs> <laughs> you see that ass? Like that ass? It's America's ass. Did not deserve to die a virgin. Steve Rogers is not a virgin. He lost his virginity to a girl in 1943. I knew it. You're not drunk? Captain America! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Captain America! Oh, Tatiana. Oh, you are going to be welcomed in with warm arms into the MCU. Fuck yes. <laughs> Captain America fucks. Is that going to be it? All right, everybody. That was She-Hulk Season 1, Episode 1. Did I have something? A normal amount of rage. Um, God damn, what a fantastic pilot episode. Like, it started off and I was going to be like, oh, God, it's going to lean heavily into the court procedural type of show which i'm sure it's gonna settle into something resembling that but like then she switches and she talks to the camera which i guess i kind of forgot that first fourth wall break just because i was shocked by it and we we're getting in like literally right into the story with uh, bruce banner again she had that second fourth wall break at the end that shocked her and then it also it looked like bruce realized it too so I'm wondering if this is like the first time in like the MCU live action stuff, if they're setting up for a live action Watcher, because that's kind of how they did it in What If, like the Watcher would be talking and like Ultron would like look, what was that? I think I heard something. So maybe, and of course they're going to bring in Deadpool uh, into the MCU as well at some point. And now that we know that there's mutants with uh, Miss Marvel and all that, there's going to be a lot more of this stuff coming in. But I thought that was really interesting because even Bruce, who we've seen a lot and who's never broken the wall, the, the fourth wall, it looked like he was aware of what just happened. And then that even shocked her. And like I said in the episode, like, what is that that she's looking or talking to? Is she speaking to the Watcher, possibly? I, I don't know. But that was really good. The whole training monologue with her and Bruce, she's figuring out her powers. She basically can just, like, turn back and forth super easy, almost like a superhero changing outfits real quick. That's what she can do real fast. And it seems like her powers aren't a curse. They're just basically in addition like she's a mutant almost although it's not exactly like a mutant it's more um the repercussions of that freak like blood mixture accident but honestly if i can be critical of this that was my only complaint of this entire show is i did not like how she became she hulk i thought just based on like what i knew from passing she got into like a car crash kind of like doctor strange and she was about to die and they had no other option. Bruce had to give her a blood transfusion. I thought that's kind of like how they were going to do it. But maybe they did change it because it would mirror too much Doctor Strange. But that would have been better than just like a whoops. You put your chocolate in my peanut you butter. peanut butter on my chocolate. I mean, both ways they would have shown that Bruce is remorseful for giving her this this way he sees as a curse. So far, it's not really too bad for, for uh, Jessica. Jennifer. Jessica. But yeah, overall... This was really good. I can't wait for the next episode. I believe this had the strongest opening. Like, Loki was really good right from the get-go as well. But this felt like, I guess I could say classic Marvel. Almost like Phase 2 Marvel. And it feels like the MCU is kind of like 
falling back into what's normal and what's expected and I'm 100% here for it enough and of course Tatiana Maslany like 100% all the praise in the world she totally knocked this role out of the park and like her and her and uh, Mark Ruffalo's chemistry was really well and I, like I said I don't think we're gonna get more any more Mark Ruffalo in this season maybe at the end but who knows maybe he'll like call her up or something it, it just kind of seems like she had him show her the ropes and then now she's kind of going off and the real show's starting so again that was a good way to do it i like how they introduced her and uh yeah i love this i love her and i love this and i love tatiana and i hope that you loved it as well <laughs> so anyway guys what did you think of this episode and of course the transformation uh what did you think of the cg i th i feel like the cg was a little worse on you know Bruce and the Hulk, the Smart Hulk. Maybe they did that on purpose to make uh, her look a lot better, but it seemed like his face was kind of like expressionless and like blank sometimes. And I don't know, it just it seemed a little off to me. But she, her her CG looked really good. Yeah, you gotta let me know what you thought about that in the comment box down below. And if you liked my reaction, please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever and if you guys want to support the channel financially the patreon and everything else is down below and uh thank you very much for watching you know i love and appreciate every single one of you and remember if you're gonna go outside please keep wearing that mask don't be an ass and i will see you all next week for some more she hulk take it easy clone club <laughs> holding your farts namaste